This is something that has never been done before. Hancock County received a grant that will put an officer on school buses to catch motorists who illegally pass buses. It gives us uh, uh, eyes and ears on the bus to look for vehicles that are passing the stop school bus, whether they're or discharging children or, or, or boarding them. Sheriff Fletcher says it's something he has been wanting to do for a while, an officer on a school bus with a chase vehicle nearby to catch those motorists who break the law thanks to a grant that the county received. Last year, there were six accidents caused by motorists passing stopped buses. This year, the school board voted unanimously to put an end to this problem. There's nothing more important than our children, and these buses carry the most important resource in the world, and that is our children. Some people just don't care enough to realize that that could be a kindergartner or anybody's child. That could be my grandson getting off that bus. Mm -hmm. So anything we can do to protect them, so whether it be from the traffic or something that happens on the bus, it's a fantastic idea. The days that officers are on the buses will be random and most likely on buses that travel along the most dangerous routes. Bill Wiseman has been a Hancock County bus driver for 18 years and says that this has been a problem for a while. Laws are laws. You can't pass a school bus, especially if we have our red or yellow lights on. And, you know, it's just the endangerment of the kids. And it's been problems that we've had for, for years. The county will also be providing bus drivers with radios so they can contact authorities directly. They've given us uh, several radios that we're installing in our police vehicles and uh, to, uh, so we can have uh, better communication between the bus driver as well as the officer. In Hancock County, Sarah Yingling, 7 News, working for you.